Hi, my Cancer. It's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your December mid-month uh, tarot card reading. Um, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm using the Rider Waite tarot deck. Um, I pulled five cards. I've saved everything up. Everything's looking good. Got all my pretty stones. Okay, guys, so let's jump right in. So here's what's going on. Um, you got the Page of Wands. You got the King of Wands. You got the Emperor, the Ace of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. So some of you um, are dealing with a... Uh, um, Okay, there's a lot of uh, wands here. So there's a lot of fire signs going on here. Yeah, and then there's one uh, Knight of Cups. So some of you, I'm just going to start with the with the water sign. Um, so some of you, um, Cancers, this could possibly be you, the water sign, or you've got another water sign that's about to uh, come come into your life. I feel like in the past, um, you were, yeah, there, there's two water signs here, you and another water sign. So this water sign once was very, very interested in you, but you see how like the stream is like dried up almost. <laughs> Sorry, all the sage and everything. Whoa, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, <sighs> okay. All right. So some of you um, were once dealing with a water sign, but this water sign, I guess, was hot and heavy for you, and now they have, like, no feelings for you at all, and now the shoe's on the other foot. Now you're actually interested in that water sign that you that you didn't want, but now the water sign's moved on. So it looks like you're going to try to get back with this water sign, or this water sign's going to try to get back with you. Whoever was the one that was not interested before... That's the one who is now going to be interested. So some of you, some of you water signs will be shocked to hear from this water sign. But by that time, you won't have feelings. So yeah. And the reason why, um, what's at the top of the deck here, is um, or at the bottom of the deck, is a, a three of swords. So somebody was uh, was juggling other people at the time, and that's why they were not interested. So now all of a sudden, I guess they're alone, lonely, bored. So now they're going to come and knocking. Also, Mercury retrograde is around the corner. So be prepared. All the exes are coming back. They're all going to make a reappearance. They're going to track you down on Facebook. They're going to call your phone. People from years ago, maybe even from high school days. Just expect it. But as soon as Mercury retrograde ends, they're going out the door. They're going back out. So please don't leave your husbands. Don't leave your wives. Don't leave your good relationships. Don't quit your jobs. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. But it's up to you. All right. So yeah, so now we got a bunch of fire signs going on here. We got the page of wands. So some of you will be hearing from a um, Sagittarius, a Leo or an Aries. They'll be calling you, messaging you, whatever. One of these, um, one of these fire signs is a married person. Okay. So like I told you before, Mercury retrograde is coming. These married people. Yeah. Be careful. Um, don't, yeah, just because this married man says he wants to leave his wife doesn't mean he's going to do it. Or this married woman says she's going to leave her husband doesn't mean she's going to do it. Some of you also, there's an Aries coming in. This Aries is a very nice man. He offers stability, protection, and uh, loyalty. He's just a very, very good person and help. Okay, and then you've got the, um, the Ace of Wands. So many of you uh, will be getting pregnant around this time. Mercury retrograde is an is a awesome time to get pregnant by an ex. Yeah. Um, and then as soon as you leave, you're like, whoops, I'm pregnant. Okay. So unless you want to get somebody pregnant or you're trying to get pregnant, um, okay. It, okay. If you want to get pregnant, go for it. Now is a go for those of you that are, you know, that have baby fever and you really want to have a baby. This is basically saying that it's the go ahead. It'll work. So if you're a male, uh, cancer, sun, moon, or rising, and your woman is a fire sign, even better, more likely that, that this person's going to get pregnant. If you don't want to get pregnant, um, you have to protect yourself because this mercury retrograde is really good for fertility. Um, yeah, uh, it, it basically is like, uh, the opposite of what you want. So like, let's say you do want to get pregnant, but you want to get pregnant by Bob over here. Joe may get you pregnant during mercury retrograde, the X. So be careful with that. Okay. Then some of you, um, there's uh, some of you that are worried that your husband or wife is cheating. It's basically saying that, um, for many of you, this is not for all of you, that your husband or wife is a good person. This person is who they say they are. This is somebody that you can trust. So uh, some of those fears are unfounded. Also, um, so just expect to get phone calls, you guys. Cancer from, um, from uh, Page of Wands, from a fire sign. Uh, Sagittarius, um, Leo, or Sagittarius. Expect a phone call. Yeah, and then expect definitely expect a phone call from an Aries. And then um, pregnancy definitely, definitely is on the table if this is what you would like. 
If this is what you want to happen, it'll happen. Also, you got the Knight of Cups here, so there is a water sign coming. Um, I hope that was helpful. Oh, I am on Facebook. I advertise reading specials only on Facebook. It's um, Jamie Zebra 23. Also, um, if you'd like a personal reading, I am available. It's Jamie Zebra 23 at gmail.com. Readings are $25 for 15 minutes, $50 for 30 minutes, and $75 for 5 0 50 minutes. And then I've, um, I've started this new one where if you just have a quick question that you need answered, um, it's just $5. And then uh, I, I message you and answer you through, um, through uh, email. But all the other readings I do over the phone or through Skype. It's your choice. All right, guys. Ta-ta for now.